Hey guys, what's up? Chris here from BeardGateNation.com. Today we are looking at a new release from Rogue. This is their Promise Gone Awry IPA. See what they're doing there? It's a red rye IPA, 7.5% alcohol by volume. And why is this beer so special? Because they they grew, they raised their own rye malts, and they actually put it into this beer. Um, it originally started out as a holiday glyph, gift for Rogue employees, and they liked it so much that they decided to brew it. Um, it's just crazy how much stuff they actually brew at Rogue, or how much stuff they grow, excuse me, at Rogue Farms. Um, in this one, they're using Rogue Farms Dream Rye, Rogue Farms Dare and Risk Malt, Simcoe, Rogue Farms Liberty and Freedom Hops, Free Range Coastal Water, and Pac-Man Yeast, of course, their proprietary yeast. So let me go to glass, which you guys know the smells, taste, give you the final verdict on the Promise Gone Awry IPA. I guess the aroma. Wow, big bright citrus right up front. Definitely getting the Simcoe, that catty, um, kind of peachy, dank, aromatic smell. Getting the rye, big spicy maltiness in there. Smells really refreshing, but at the same time, really robust. Nice stuff. All right, guys, the taste. Cheers. Oh, ah, nice. Peach. Pine needle, a little bit of mango in there. Um, nice big malty body to it, but doesn't overwhelm the hops at all. Uh, the hops, the bitterness kind of cuts through it. Definitely getting that rye spiciness, kind of the rye body that you expect in a rye beer. Um, nice kind of, again, that Simcoe really shining peach, that caddy type of dankness in there. Uh, definitely getting kind of a, a kind of a West Coast kind of bitterness, piney, um, kind of classic West Coast IPA flavoring into it, but adding that kind of traditional East Coast kind of caddy, peachy Simcoe flavor in there, blending really nicely with the malt. A lot of body to it, 7.5%. It feels like a much bigger beer than that, but still tastes and drink like an IPA. Really, really nice stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Rogue, Promise Gone Awry, Rye IPA, 7.5%, available now. Get it while it's here, drink it fresh, guys. Going to give this one a B plus. Really, really solid stuff. If you love rye IPAs, I would definitely check this one out. Uh, big multi body, a little bit of spiciness in there, but there's enough hops to it to really kind of notch to make it that IPA. Rather than, I think a lot of time with the rye IPA, the malt can kind of overwhelm the the hops in the actual beer. This isn't the case at all. You get that peachy kind of West Coast, piney, dry IPA flavor, but that nice kind of rye maltiness, a little bit of spiciness, really kind of accentuates the hops, maybe even a little bit of dark fruit to it as well. It just, it just, it just makes the beer very, very cohesive. Um, nice drinking beer. Would I like maybe, I, I think the one kind of drawback to this one is a little bit one noted. Um, you get some bitterness, you get the hoppiness, and then you get like the maltiness. I would like a little bit more cohesion between everything, maybe a little bit lighter body, um, but it's really, really solid. And what they do with like growing their own hops and growing their own malts is actually really impressive to be able to brew on the level that they do, you know, as far as distribution and everything. Really, really impressive. Getting a B plus from me, remember folks, likes to short, drink amazing beers. And please, if you can, click on the support. Beer Geek Nation right up there. Cheers.